I am someone that really believes no matter what your economic status is, you should be able to reap the benefits of healthy chickens laying healthy eggs for your family. Good quality chicken feed is not cheap. So what I want to show you today is really going to help. I'm gonna show you how to change this into this. When I was a little girl, I wanted to save the world. When that didn't happen, I decided to create my own world where things changed for the better every single day. Welcome to Chickenlandia. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. My husband, who is also known in Chickenlandia as the first man, he used to joke with me that every egg that my chickens laid was worth $100. <laughs> but I'm happy to say that is not true anymore. I have learned how to cut costs. Now, I do this on a small scale because I have a small flock, but you can do this on any scale. In fact, there's like big farms that use this process to not only increase the volume of their feed and bring feed costs down, but also to have healthier chickens and healthier eggs. So what I'm gonna show you is how to ferment your chicken feed. I normally feed a non-processed mash feed. This is scratch and peg feed and I am an ambassador for them, but you can ferment any kind of feed. You can ferment pellets, you can ferment crumble, you can ferment non-medicated chick feed, grower feed, any kind of chicken feed, you can ferment it. And what it's going to do is it's going to make their feed more digestible. It's going to increase the bioavailability of the nutrients in their feed. And it's going to increase the volume of the feed so that not only will you have more of it, but they will likely eat less of it because it's so nutrient dense. So let's learn how simple it is to do this. So the first thing you need is a nice jar or other container. It can be much bigger than this if you have a bigger flock. And you're gonna wanna have a lid that you can use on that container. Of course you will need feed and you need water, but you don't want to use chlorinated water. You want distilled or well water. And if you don't have that, you can just leave water sitting out for 24 hours and then the chlorine will evaporate. So you're gonna wanna just put the feed into the jar and you want one part feed, two parts water. It doesn't matter what size container you're using, you just want one part feed, two parts water for a oatmeal-like consistency, which is what most people prefer. I actually usually add more water than this because I mix my fermented feed with my dry feed. But if you want an oatmeal-like consistency, this is the ratio you wanna use. Before you put the lid on, you want to stir it really well. Do you want to put the lid on super tight? No, you do not. Put the lid on fairly loose so that any gas that needs to escape can do that. Place your jar in an area where it is room temperature and there's not direct sunlight. And then you're gonna wanna stir it once a day. And you'll see I have three jars going here because it takes about three days to get that yummy kind of yogurty smell that lets you know it is ready. If it smells off in any way, then do not use it. But I have never had a batch go bad on me. It's very easy. More than likely, you're gonna have yummy fermented chicken feed that has expanded really well in about three days.
Sometimes when I'm feeding my chickens, I think about all the joy that they bring to my life. There was a time when I didn't have all the things that I have now. I'm a pretty lucky person. If my circumstances had never changed and I couldn't afford the things I have now, would I still deserve this joy that I'm experiencing? Of course I would. Everyone deserves the joy of chickens. That's why it's so important to me to keep chicken keeping accessible and affordable so that everyone can have this experience because we all deserve health and happiness regardless of our life situation. At least that's how I see it. So you might be saying, okay, this is great, but I wanna save even more money. That's why I want you to click on this video right here. It's all about sprouting grains and seeds for your chickens. As always, it's 100% friendly backyard chicken education and entertainment, and you're gonna love it. <laughs>